for the latest on the war in Ukraine and more apparent sabotage from Russia on the critical Nord Stream pipeline. A fourth leak confirmed this morning as Vladimir Putin closes in on his plan to illegally annex parts of Ukraine. Chief Foreign Correspondent Ian Panel is on the scene. Good morning, Ian. Yeah, good morning, George. It's the news that everybody was kind of expecting and every Ukrainian was dreading. Uh, surprising, no, shocking, yes. In the next 24 hours, Vladimir Putin is going to put a semi-legal gloss on his attempts to grab four large chunks of Ukrainian territory. This morning, the Kremlin announcing that Vladimir Putin will hold a signing ceremony tomorrow to formally annex the areas of Ukraine it's occupied. The move follows bogus referendums in four areas of Ukraine, where unsurprisingly, an overwhelming majority of voters apparently supported annexation. President Zelensky pushing back, saying these brutal violations of the UN Charter must be punished. The White House denouncing the elections. These referenda are illegitimate and frankly outrageous. We will never recognize these illegal and illegitimate attempts at annexation. The White House is expected to announce a new round of sanctions, but in the meantime, unveiling another $1.1 billion in significant military aid to Ukraine. Also this morning, a fourth leak's being confirmed in the Nord Stream gas pipeline that runs under the Baltic Sea from Russia to Germany. Earlier leaks were detected after underwater explosions. US officials now saying there was apparent sabotage amid an ongoing investigation. Russia denying any involvement, but the incident sending already high gas prices soaring, increasing 14% in Europe since the leaks emerged. Inside Russia, the flight over the borders continues this morning. Thousands of men fleeing into neighboring countries to escape Putin's military draft. The U.S. Embassy in Moscow now urging all American citizens in Russia to leave the country immediately amid fears they could be conscripted into Russia's troubled war in Ukraine. Well, we'll now have to see how the international community responds to Putin's move. We know that the U.S. is going to impose sanctions. The EU has already announced yet another package of sanctions. Certainly in this new U.S. military aid package, interestingly, there are 18 HIMARS. These are the mobile rocket systems that have made such a big difference on the battlefield here. But for Ukrainians, for the military commanders here, this will not make a bit of difference. They're going to pursue their war. They're going to try and liberate every single piece of Ukrainian land. George. Ian Panel, thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.